In this edition of Overclocked on Tech Support, we delve into the significance of correctly specified power supplies and their impact on system crashes and instability. We will also provide troubleshooting steps to address these issues. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms mentioned below, they could be indicative of power supply problems. While this may not always be the case, experience suggests that the power supply is often the primary culprit behind these issues. Before delving deeper, let's clarify what a power supply is and how it affects your system. The power supply in your system converts the local mains power into lower voltages, such as 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3 volts, which are the operating voltages for all the components within the system. To illustrate the impact of system performance on power supplies, let's consider an example. Imagine a system with a small power supply and a power supply requirements meter displayed on the screen. While browsing the internet and visiting websites, the system appears to be running smoothly. However, when attempting to play an intense 3D game, the system crashes, displaying a blue screen. Simultaneously, the power requirements meter enters the red zone, indicating insufficient power supply. Now, observe what happens when we replace the small power supply with a high-capacity one. With increased available power, the power requirements meter no longer reaches the red zone, and the system performs flawlessly while running the 3D game. Your power supply can also be impacted by system upgrades, such as processor or graphics card enhancements. Let's examine another scenario where a system with a small power supply, accompanied by the power requirements meter, functions without issues during regular internet browsing. However, upon upgrading to a new graphics card and attempting to start the system, the power requirements meter enters the red zone, resulting in system crashes with a blue screen. Once again, observe the transformation when we replace the small power supply with a higher capacity one. With increased power availability, the system boots up successfully, runs smoothly, and the power requirements meter stays within a safe range. If your system fails to power up, there are a few troubleshooting steps to consider. 1. Check the power supply fan, inspect the power supply unit to ensure the fans are spinning. If they aren't, it indicates a faulty power supply. 2. Voltage and wattage check, if the fans are running but the system still fails to power up correctly, it may indicate incorrect voltages or inadequate wattage. In such cases, consulting a qualified computer technician for testing is recommended. 3. Reverting upgrades. If you recently upgraded your system with a new processor or graphics card and the system isn't functioning correctly, consider reverting to the previous component and assessing system stability. If the system runs smoothly with the previous component, it suggests that your current power supply lacks sufficient power to support the upgraded system. To determine the power requirements for your system, follow these steps. 1. Gather system specifications. Compile a detailed list of your system specifications. This can be achieved by checking the Windows Device Manager or using third-party tools like Bellarc Reports. 2. Power Supply Calculator. Search online for a power supply calculator. Choose one from the list of results obtained. Fill out the form with accurate system details. 3. Obtain recommended power supply. Once you complete the form, the power supply calculator will provide a recommended power supply wattage suitable for your system. Compare this recommendation with the label on your current power supply, which indicates the manufacturer, model number, and power supply rating. 4. Selecting a new power supply. If the recommended power supply exceeds your current power supply rating, it is advisable to looking into and or selecting a new power supply that matches your system requirements. The power supply plays a critical role in maintaining system stability. Incorrectly specified power supplies can lead to crashes, system instability, and other related problems. It is crucial to ensure that your power supply meets your system's requirements. By following the troubleshooting steps and considering the power supply calculator's recommendations, you can address power supply-related issues effectively. Hopefully this guide assists you in preventing and resolving potential power supply problems. Well that about sums up another Technus Corner, overclocked on Tech Guide for y'all. My name is X217, resident personal computer and co-host of the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe on your way out, as it's free way to show your support for the Technus Corner, like button inclusive, script courtesy of my user and co-host Sebastian Lucas. Peace.